have already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we've got the Four of Cups, and it's with the Six of Pentacles. The Four of Cups, it can sometimes be about wishful thinking. It does warn us to remember to pay attention to what is now and to actually count your many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be. And I say this because it's all too easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. And because the Four of Cups is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, the card that's below the word pass, it's telling me that you could have been dealing with someone who made you feel maybe devalued. They could have made you feel like you weren't good enough. This person, maybe they made you feel unloved. Um, and because it's with the Six of Pentacles, like I said, the card below the word pass, um, you might have wanted something good with this person, a good relationship, or you might have wanted it to grow, but this person was not doing their fair share of giving to the relationship. Yeah, because the Six of Pentacles can be about generosity, it can be about giving, and it can mean that you could be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So this is also telling me that um, for some of you, your person, they were not doing their fair share. There was not, put it this way, there was not a healthy dose of give and take in the connection. Or you could have been the only one that's giving to the relationship. And it just made you feel some kind of way. Yeah, just made you feel like maybe you didn't want to accept what they were offering, which was not much. Yeah, or they just didn't do their fair share of giving to the connection. You could have been dealing with a Taurus, a Aries, and some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Five of Pentacles and it's with the Queen of Swords. Now this Five of Pentacles, it can sometimes mean that you could be feeling left out in the cold or you could feel less than secure. Could be about a situation or a person or something. And for some, sometimes it can indicate feeling lost. It is actually not a happy indicator when it comes to love questions. And because this Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Swords, the card that's below the word present, um, this is telling me that um, this connection that you were in it could make you feel um, like you have no security with this person or you could start to feel insecure about the connection and you're just ready to cut it out. Queen of Swords c cuts things out. Yeah. Or for some of you, you could feel like you want to say what you're really thinking. You want to kind of let this person have it. And you're serious about your decision this time. 
maybe in the past you weren't as serious, but with the Queen of Swords showing up in your reading, you're very serious about your decision, and you're fed up with this connection. Yeah, you might feel like you got your defenses up, or they could start to feel this way, that you have your defenses up, and you're being really strict, stern, and you're just ready to detach. You're ready to detach from this person. Yeah, you don't like the way it makes you feel. Yeah, you're not happy with this connection. So, we move on over and take a look and see what the challenge is. So, we got the Queen of Cups. And it's with the Five of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is a card above the word challenge. Just know, whenever you see the Queen or the King of Cups in a reading, those are actually two of the most loving energies in the tarot. It's all about love, kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when you get the Queen of Cups in a reading. Or the King of Cups. Yeah, so, what this is telling me is that um, this person that you were dealing with, they actually had a lot of love for you. And you probably didn't know it because because of their reactions, or because of their actions, put it that way. Yeah, this person, they did want to heal the connection. They wanted to fix it. They wanted to nurture it. They wanted to support it. This person knows what's being lost. Um, five of Cups is the card below the word challenge. Um, this person could be missing you. Yeah, they're missing you. But more than anything, um, there's disappointment. It could be on both parts. Five of Cups, that card below the word challenge, you get disappointment. For some of you, you could be crying over spilt milk. And, of course, we all know it's a lot more than spilled milk. But you could be having a, put it this way, you could be having a hard time focusing on the positive. Yeah. So, just just know that this person, they, they do, they still do have emotions for you. But you're having a hard time feeling it. Yeah. Yeah, for some of you, they probably just kept it to themselves. Because their actions are showing you different. So, let's move on over. And let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So, we got Seven of Cups. And it's with the Temperance card. Now, Seven of Cups can be a, book, a card about choices. It can indicate confusion. And it also can point to disorganization and having too much going on. Um, Seven of Cups is telling me that um, you're planning to keep your options open. Evaluate your choices. And you're just going to, looks like you could be just making sure that, yeah, you're keeping your options open. You're probably going to um, pick and choose or just maybe for a lot of you you're going to date and see other people for some of you a lot of other people the option the uh, seven of cups is about like I said a lot of choices and that's what some of you are planning to do and you feel like you just want to bring balance back into your life because temperance is here, the card that's below the word outcome. It's, it's basically about finding peace of mind and putting balance back into your world, into your life. And for some of you, you may need to look at any 
deep personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way and work through these issues one by one. Also, when you get temperance, it's important to um, just know that before you can really have peace of mind and wisdom in your relationships and with yourself, you need to take a look at anything you feel guilty about, any mistakes that you feel you've made in your past. Then forgive yourself and let it go because it's really the only way you can truly make progress in life and with with um, in life and with relationships. So yeah, Virgo, looks like you were with someone that just wasn't giving enough. You were probably putting in more of the effort and energy. It made you feel some kind of way. You realize that it's time to cut it out. And there's some disappointment on both parts. Maybe this person, they realized that um, they lost a good thing. They do have a lot of um, love for you. Queen of Cups is here. And you probably don't know it. You're going to keep your options open. And just bring balance back to your life and to your world. And that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what, what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Virgo reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also... Keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So, Virgo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.